We were in Puerto Rico uh, to work with the Rio Chiquito Mission Network, which has been completing projects for uh, a certain member in the body there at Iglesia Batista de Rio Chiquito. Uh, and it is uh, a woman named Miss Emmy. Uh, they've been working on her house and also her granddaughter building a house for her on her property. And her name is Emmeline. Uh, and she has two sons, Nathan and Fabian. Uh, that were there and they were hanging out and uh, people were playing with them as well. We just got to play with them like through the time we were there and he loved all the construction things. I think you could tell like he'd grown up with like a bunch of teams coming with like construction stuff and like construction supplies and like equipment and stuff and so oh this is cool like we're here and he knows like we're here to work on his house to like finish it and like get it done. He just wanted to help. It was like a cool witness to this little boy who's only five, knew we were here from another country to help him and his family. And we were to, there to finish up some plumbing, some electrical work, uh, the showers, the sinks, um, finish up the window frames uh, and finish up the roofs down there, or especially on this certain house that we were assigned to. That was the first day we did all that. It's pretty much our whole punch list we did in one day. And I also went down to the neighbor's house who uh, goes to church and uh, did some roof work, trying to retarp their roof. So, so I was able to take care of that and knock it out. Hopefully it holds up to their, their weather for a while. Our biggest tasks were to just get embedded with the community, um, make connections, make those relationships, and uh, ultimately just help them reestablish some of their homes, uh, finish their homes, uh, just repair some of the things that needed to get done that um, caused by the hurricane and all the earthquakes. But mainly to just, just make those relationships and, and show God's love um, across the entire community that we were serving, basically. To us, it's like the house is incomplete. There's no drywall, the electrical panel's there, but it's not hooked up. It's not insulated at all, you know. So we would be like, "Oh, this is this is a complete, or this isn't done." But to them, it was like, "This is a house. This is our home." You know, looking at the conditions that they live in down there, with no AC, all this stuff that we don't have, that they don't have that we have, I needed that personally to see that, and I think that was one of the many reasons why God called me to go down there. What God has taught me through this trip is to be more grateful with my resources, to be more selfless and giving. And when we were there, God provided. It was, it was overwhelming. It's overwhelming to see the gratitude uh, shown by these people. Um, and, and I know I heard Ruth earlier talking about how some of these things, they're not finished. And we, in our culture, would have been like, nah, this is, we're not ready. But they were thrilled. They were ready to move in. When we came back to touch up a few things, they already had the doors open. They had the ventanas open. They were in there. They were living. They were. They had the water turned on. They're, they're ready to go. And it was just such a, a good feeling to see that and to see what the Lord was doing. And then we're sitting down there Saturday night with Dwayne and everybody, 10th hour guys, and we started having testimony on what touch. And My brother came out. And my brother has been struggling with just trying to find his identity and what he is and who he is. But we've been talking about the Lord for a while. And just him seeing the love that we have for each other, just the family environment that we had in Christ, our brothers and sisters, just seeing all that firsthand versus hearing it from me. Um, as we were discussing our experiences, he mentioned, I need Christ in my life. I immediately put my hand in his shoulder and said, well, are you ready to accept them? And boom, yes. Tears just started flying. I look over at McKinley and said, you know we're gonna fight, right? He said, why are you gonna fight me? I said, y'all got me up here crying, being emotional. I'm fighting every man in this room tonight. <laughs> and he got saved. And it was amazing, man. Uh, we all prayed over him and uh, it was just, it was just God's blessing, man. It was awesome. Ephesians 2.10 says, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And man, it was evident the entire time that we were walking in God's plan. And it's an incredible feeling.